In this video, we're going to go over how you can create a RAS flow test from a URL endpoint. In the previous video, we went over how you can create a RAS flow test from a RAML description file. A lot of the times you might not have a RAML file and you just might have a list of URL endpoints. So if you're in a scenario where you just have a bunch of URL endpoints, I'll go over how you can create a RESTful test for each of them. So I have an empty test here called RESTful.txt. I'm going to go ahead and add a REST client to it. As you can see, this REST client has absolutely no information. The first URL endpoint that I'm going to use will do a GET request. I'll be using the Spotify API and making a request and searching for an artist. All I have to do is paste my URL endpoint in this URL box. Once you paste in the URL, you can see Suetas extracts the URL path and also any query parameters. So in my case, my parameter Q is equal to Muse, my type is equal to an artist. Since this is a GET request, I don't have a payload and I'm going to go ahead and run this test. You can see the test succeeded and we can go ahead and take a look at the traffic. We got some information back about the artist. And any value here can be parameterized or scripted. So you can data drive it or extract that value from another previously run test. Under HTTP options, you can add additional information such as OAuth authentication and HTTP headers. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a POST request. So I'm going to change the method to POST. And you can use any method you want. And there's also a custom option here. So if you have a custom method you're using, you can add that also. I'm going to choose POST paste in my URL. Because this is a post method, I have a payload that I need to add. To add the payload, either you can reference to a file or just paste in the example JSON or XML. I'm going to paste in my JSON request. It's information about a particular customer. Now, if I change my input method from literal to form JSON, what Suetas does is it creates a form view out of it. So it's easier to parameterize and data drive your request message. So I'm going to run my test. And you can see I got a response back from my service. You can add additional tools to your test, such as a data source to data drive it, or a regression test and JSON asserter to validate it. And that is how you create a RESTful test in Sovitas using just a URL endpoint. 